Here, Matt Austin is live and more tonight. So families got to spend some time in their homes today salvaging what they could, but they can't spend the night, right? Yeah, they're not allowed, Lauren. Uh, the sun set in Oklahoma here about an hour ago, and when it gets dark, those families have to clear those neighborhoods. They're not allowed to stay in. Now, the neighborhood we spent most of our time in, about a half mile over my shoulder there, it's called the Plaza Towers neighborhood. And we met two kids there who were trapped inside the rubble at their elementary school, and today one of those kids got to meet his rescuer. When the monstrous EF5 tornado crushed this elementary school, Xavier Delgado was inside. It was really loud and the tornado knocked down the school and the building fell on me. Xavier and his classmates were trapped. His back still scraped up from the ceiling that fell on top of him. I couldn't see and it hurt when everything fell on me. Whatever it was was sticking inside him. I said when they I pulled saw. him out, whatever it was came out of him. A few rooms over, Xavier's sister Haley says debris hit her in the head and knocked her out cold. Something hit my head and it made me knock out because my friend Leah was by me and she was trying she was trying to keep me awake but she couldn't and I just fell asleep and got knocked out. For the first time since the deadly twister hit, Xavier saw his rescuer, a neighbor named Steve McDonald. He pulled him out from under the school. I did, I pulled him out. Yes, I did. I did. How you doing, buddy? You okay? You all right? The reunion, emotional. He was stuck. He had something stuck on his back. How's your back, buddy? Is it okay? Yeah, I figured he would because when we pulled him out, I said, be careful with his back, guys. And he looked at me and goes, am I bleeding? <laughs> I'm glad to see you're all right, buddy. While the Delgados got their son and daughter back, there was loss. Their home is torn down to the foundation. It's unbelievable. I mean, there's nothing left. And their children's school is a lasting reminder of what happened that tragic day. I can't believe I'll run for that. Now there is a pretty incredible statistic out here in Oklahoma. Out of the 12,000 homes, 33,000 people affected. The Red Cross shelter locally here said they only took in about 29 people who slept over last night at that shelter. The rest all stayed with friends and family, just like the Delgados. Lorna Guard, back to you. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you, some real heartwarming things are coming out of this devastation as well. All right, thank you, Matt.